Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I edit my labels in Pick Monkey. I needed to redo a label because the sizing was off, so I thought this would be the perfect time to show you guys live from start to finish how I do this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it helps you guys out. If it does, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and look forward because I will be doing a whole nother label demo, but in Canva so that you don't have to do all this converting and whatnot. But since this is where I started doing all my labels, I thought I would teach you the same way. You guys will also see in here that I will be pulling up one of my past labels for reference when it comes to ingredients and directions and whatnot. But I will be showing you guys how I put on my icons, barcodes, change colors, and everything like that. So if you guys ever have any more questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments section so I can help you guys out. And make sure to watch my other video about making labels and hopefully that will clarify some more things. Thank you again.
hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you guys learned something and that it was a little bit more easier than the last video. But if you guys are still confused and you still do not know how to create a label in PicMonkey, then make sure you guys send me an email at bossqueennessa at gmail.com and check all the links down below in the description box as well as the videos that I recommended you guys to watch in this video to help clarify how to create a label for your hair care line, skin care line, cosmetic brand or whatever you may need in pick monkey and if pick monkey is not for you then really look forward to my next video where i will be showing you guys how to create a label easy seamless inside of canva so this will really cut down on some time when it comes to converting the label and sizing it correctly but since people if they don't know how to use canva or they don't choose to they can use pick monkey as i learned myself how to use pick monkey and it is pretty much photoshop for beginners there's so many things you can do with PicMonkey as well as editing your photos and so much more. So if you guys really want more tutorials on PicMonkey, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment down below any other videos that you guys might want to see. Thank you guys so much again for watching, for all the support that you guys show on my channel. I'm just so happy that this community is growing. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.